I have my circle drawn around me. To help, to help the experience that this present awareness that I am is not just located in my skull, but it's all around me. And ultimately, on into infinity, circles within circles. The what if What if you're actually a, a prisoner, literally a prisoner in a physical prison, in a cell? You don't even have a stick. But you have your finger. And even in your cell, you can draw a circle in the dust, or draw it with your mind. Or when you're out in the walking area, and maybe there's dirt. Why do I use that example of a prisoner? Because in many ways, when we are suffering, and it seems to go on and only get worse as we go through life, it begins to feel like we're trapped in that life, like we're a prisoner within that life, and we can't find the way out. And sometimes, on a very mundane level, you could be trapped in a job. You want to leave, but you can't because you, you just, it's not the right moment. You can't, you can't afford to. So, just like the prisoner, you, you can't just walk out. You could, but Probably not. Or let's say you're in a marriage that hasn't really ever worked, but now you really realize it and you know that you need to leave it. But maybe you have children. Maybe you don't work and you're financially dependent. So at that moment, it's a set you're trapped. Or maybe you have a physical disability. A handicap, maybe it allows you to walk around or move, but you can't go very many places. So you're, in a way, your body has you trapped inside of that. Or you could have pain all the time and feel trapped inside of that, and you can't change it. You can't walk out the cell door. You can't. can draw that circle and you can bring in all the things that you wrestle with with your mind literally as I've explained with like the, the, the sensationally as the objects and you bring them into this circle of who you are this circle of awareness into this space literally as the objects. So if I'm in prison, maybe I bring the whole prison right here. People that I have difficulty with, that I struggle with, that I'm afraid of, that are mistreating me, that are unfair to me. And in bringing them right here, I'm with those feelings and it allows me then to settle into the circle that I am and the quiet. So, 
when I'm talking about the circle, when I'm talking about to be the circle, it's you. It's wherever you are. And these physical, they're tools, and they are sacred power places too. But the true power is within you. The true power, which through this bringing in of all the things you wrestle with and hate and eventually begins to free you of the story that you're trapped in because they're all stories and as you free the energies that have anchored you into the story at some point begin to stop believing what you think within that story. And you can give the story up. Whether it's the story of the victim, or the story of the warrior, the story of abuse, the story of an accident, the story of poverty, story of the prison. Great people have found great freedom within the physical prison that they could not escape from. Great people such as Nelson Mandela have cultivated great love for even those who imprisoned them while still incarcerated. So in a sense, they found this circle. They drew this circle. They became this circle. And they took this up and this became the center. This heart that is the true, quiet, peaceful, present awareness 